Carlo and Marcella. I'm here at Malin Space Science Systems in Sorrento Valley. I spoke with the advanced projects manager. He says it took nearly five years to build these cameras to help NASA with its mission. Touch on confirmed. Yeah. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. What was your reaction and feeling when you were watching the video yesterday of the rover landing on Mars? Well, truthfully, the high point for me, less than the landing itself, was one of these cameras that we have uh, took images while it was coming into land. Our camera worked, and so I was very happy to hear that. <laughs> Mike Ravine, Advanced Projects Manager of Mainland Space Science Systems, talks about the five cameras its team built for NASA's rover Perseverance. Basically a giant pan tilt head on top of the rover. We have two zoom cameras on there. Those are called Mass Cam Z. We two cameras on the end of the rover's robotic arm. And the fifth camera is a camera mounted on the bottom of the rover. Uh, that took pictures as the rover came into land. So far, that's the only camera that actually has done its job. MSSS builds cameras for space missions. The team operates them and collects science from the pictures taken. We currently have three cameras orbiting the moon, three cameras orbiting Mars. We now have nine cameras on the surface of Mars because we have four cameras on the Curiosity rover as well. Uh, we have a camera orbiting Jupiter, and we have three cameras on the OSIRIS-REx mission. This photo was taken with Mastcam Z cameras, now on Mars. A photo of part of the MSSS team in San Diego while they were testing. Specifically, Perseverance is going to collect rock core samples that will eventually be collected and brought back to Earth for analysis by future missions. Ravine has been building these cameras since 1985. He's worked on missions where landings weren't successful. He says this one is surreal. MSSS bottom camera on the rover captures it. I was anxious that the, the landing be successful, but I'm really going to feel a lot better tomorrow when we turn the cameras on and we see that they work because then, you know, I know we did our job. <laughs> We'll have this story and efforts from Mayland Space Science Systems at CBS8.com. Reporting in Sereno Valley, Teresa Sardina, News 8.